Oh, petrol. the petrol station. What's that? What's the petrol? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Gas? <laughs> Headquarters Revolution Gang. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. So, I know you guys already know who these ladies are. I know you guys already know what's coming up. Well, besides the fact that you can read it in, you know, the title of the video. But besides that, we are back for part two of our language tag. <laughs> Elder over here and she is going to be representing the UK. Angie is going to be representing America and I am going to be representing South Africa. Now before I talk some more ladies, tell the people who you are even though I kind of just told them. Yeah, but tell you, them again. You, you just did a whole introduction but it's fine. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Alda and I'm from the UK, England, London. <laughs> just went specific right there but yeah. So I'll be representing the London accent. AKA the colonizers. Let's Jeez. go. Well, if, if, you haven't watched, if you haven't watched the previous video, you should. They don't understand. <laughs> and over here we have. Uh, Y'all already know what it is. Angie back again from the videos. The favorite. Y'all already know. Y'all come for me. But it's okay. And I'm going to be re representing Dusty Crusty America. Psych dog. No. Before we get started with this video, I just want to highlight that. One person cannot speak on behalf of an entire nation. Meaning, yes, Alda says things in a way that the general UK person would, but she doesn't have an accent that represents every single person. I think no. in the UK, people who are from, um, I can't understand the areas, but you they should, sound different. You like YouTube, Birmingham accents, Liverpool accents, very different. Very, very different. different, right? <laughs> And even in America, people from Baltimore versus mm -hmm. like here sound very different. And in South Africa, obviously, there are people who sound like me. There are people who sound different. There are those who sound like this. And the management is not gonna work, guys. And there are also people who sound like they don't have any, you know, they don't have any reason to just, you know what I mean? I didn't have a sentence there. But <laughs> fact, I'm, all I'm trying to say is, guys, of course, we understand that people in the nations we are representing all sound differently so don't watch this video and expect us to sound just like you if you don't sound like us it's, it's yeah. okay thanks so let's get started oh and another thing no one here is being bullied no one <laughs> no one here is crying no one. so if we have banter please don't go in the comments saying you're bullying america <laughs> you're bullying the uk you're bullying no one's being bullied everyone is here with yeah. their own discretion with you. and is ready to roast and be roasted there's definitely not a gun behind this camera absolutely <laughs> so let's get started let's go let's go what do you call the thing that you push a baby on. Oh. A stroller? No. A pram. It's definitely a pram. I ain't coming over here no more. No, it's between a baby stroller and a, a carriage. A carriage? A ca Ma'am, a carriage? <laughs> I want you yes. to insert a picture of like a horse and carriage. <laughs> Versus so this is what Angie pram. is going to move her baby yeah, around. Yeah, baby stroller and baby carriage. I've yeah. never heard pram. Sounds like somebody's name. Pram. Funka! When you take your car to get petrol, what do you call it? What? Petrol. Oh, petrol. the petrol station. What's that? What's the petrol? <laughs> what is that? Gas? <laughs> <gasps> okay, but it's not- Gas? Is that what it is? Are you pumping it? gas into your car? No, it's yes. petrol. You're pumping Oh, yo. <laughs> Gas. Gas. You're pumping gas from a gas station. What the hell is petrol? Angie, what is, is gas? That the, is that the name of gas? Petroleum, ma'am. Petrol. <laughs> Petroleum? Gas. In SA, we actually could say petrol station, but more commonly, we actually say the garage. <sighs> You're always doing the most. I can't even agree with that. <laughs> I thought we were I tried, a team. That's what I'm I tried to be on your side. I thought we were a team. The garage. Yeah. The garage. First of all, we say garage, not Ga garage. You say yeah. garage? Yeah. Garage. Garage. Like garage. A house. Then there's a garage. What do you say? Garage. <laughs> Thank 
you. Yes, it is a garage. But even then, I like you're you're from yeah, a garage. Yeah, even then, like you don't. Okay, so, you garage. know what? I take my high five back. Let me just <laughs> take it back. Cause I would understand if there's like a car garage at the gas station. I would understand if it's like that, but not the actual gas station itself being the garage. But then the thing is, like when you go to a garage. They like they can be a car wash at the garage. They can be. They also like. Don't they do your tires at the garage? And don't they do your oil change and the oil and the water? No, when that's, you go that's to the actually gas station? if there's a. Uh, th that's only if there's actually a car garage with the gas station. They won't do the gas station itself. Won't do that. So when you go to a gas station, all you can do is get gas. Yeah, and with the exception if there's like an attachment like yeah. to like of a car wash, but they don't yeah, do they anything. Yeah, they attachments, but. You I, I'm guessing you guys just call the whole thing a garage. So our gas station, petrol station, is called a garage, and every garage has a petrol attendant, right? The petrol attendants can also open the bonnet of your car and check your oil and water. Call people who are standing in a line. What is that? Oh, it's a queue. A queue. People are standing in a line. They're standing in a line. <laughs> They're standing in a queue. They it's form a queue. A queue. They form a line! <laughs> you said it just stop. It's a which line. Which is called a queue. Which is called a queue. When people stand like, in a line, they're forming a queue. Oh, they're waiting in line. <laughs> you yeah. need to get in line because the right word is queue. So get in line. Well, why don't you get in line? Because you just said getting in line. You just no, said because them to when the you word, no, get in line. When, so it means getting in line, but you're adding a different word to what is already meant to be. When get you in tell line. someone to get in line, why don't you just say get in Listen, when someone is out of order, you tell them, listen, to that's get out of order, in get in line. line. As in, get it together. You're saying it then, yes, get in line. So then why are you using no, a as different in, word just to say get because in Because the term get in line means get in order, as in get it together. Okay, so then just say get in line. Because get a queue, we're standing in a queue. So what if you want to form two queues? What do you form? A line. Get in the queue. Sounds like you're telling me to get into a cube. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What's why? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being so? <laughs> you know, it's moments like that when you know you've lost the argument. You know what? Yeah. When you just make sound effects. <laughs> it's my store. I'm sticking to it. What do you call? You know, a car, right? At the back, there's a oh. storage space <laughs> that you put stuff in. It opens. What do you call that? A boot. A boot. You mean the truck? The boot, yeah. The boot of the car. I literally said this the other day. A boot. <laughs> Angie's like, did I hear the description right? Are we talking about the same thing? Because I want to know if it's a compartment or if you're actually talking about the, no, the actual trunk. The trunk is called a boot. Why call it a boot when it's the boot is a shoe that I wear? But a trunk is an elephant trunk. But you say the trunk of a car. And you say the boot of a car. Yeah. She's not wrong. I actually don't know where both words come from, to be quite honest. Like, where does boots come from? Where does trunk come from? I, I don't... Why, maybe we just call it a storage facility at this point. I don't know. Flipping it onto the front of the car. The front of the car where you open it and the engine and stuff is there. What is that called? You're acting like we're car people. <laughs> is this common knowledge? This is not rocket science, oh, Elder. The, the hood? The hood. The bonnet. <laughs> Okay, wait. I don't know. If Where did bonnet been. come from? Ain't that what you're supposed don't... to wear to your hair when you go to sleep? <laughs> bonnet? <laughs> it's a car bonnet. No, see, now I don't know if I've just been in America for too long. It's the hood. The hood is a place. I have heard of the and the bonnet is an object that goes on your hair to protect your hair. You see how a bonnet protects your hair? It's the same way the bonnet of a car protects the engine. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. But like a, and hood a hoodie goes over. Yeah! <laughs> this is the first time we're all like, yeah! <laughs> it's the first time we're also in agreement too. <laughs> I have either been Americanized guys or oh. Oh, how yep. things change. Yep. Show how things change. <laughs> Again. First word we're going to pronounce, pronunciate is daughter. 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 <laughs> daughter. <I'll>... Daughter. <laughs> you you see how that it sounds? That sounded really good. That actually sounded really good. 
<laughs> but it, 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 when she says it, it sounds like she's trying to make fun of like what I'm trying to say. How I say no, it? No, that's, 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 that's literally like, how you sound. sound the exact same. So that if is. you think me saying it that way is me mocking you, honey, <laughs> you can have an opinion about your accent. <laughs> oh, Americans. <laughs> the next word we're going to be saying is caught. 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 Why is ah? Caught. <laughs> Bumper clouds, like <laughs> please. Okay, yeah. so since we were confused a bit, what about a court, like a court. tennis court? Court. They're both the same <laughs> to me. Court. 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 See, they say a different. So I say, like, I caught a fish. We go into court. Same thing. They say, like, you know, I'm go we, we take you to court, or you know, I just caught something. So there's a difference. And I say I caught a fish on the tennis court. So we say the same. Court courts. It's actually. I feel like they win this because they're two very different words. Yeah, the court and the court. Why do we pronounce them the same? Court. Court because and cut. Court, court and. Because y'all y'all don't pronounce the R enough to freaking like differentiate it. Well, it's you guys don't R pronounce T's in your words, so you know. Tuesday. Say Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Where's the T? Say ba Baltimore. People, Baltimore. People, people from Baltimore don't even say Baltimore with the T. Like you see how you're struggling to say it? <laughs> it's Baltimore. It's Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore. It's not a D. It's a T. Baltimore. Well then, are you with the people of Baltimore? Cause they they say it Baltimore. I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information. Well, the people of Baltimore say Baltimore wrong. Hey! You're in my business. Yeah, don't do that. But hey, man, who am I to tell them? <laughs> Give nice. me a green card. Took <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> the door is right there. Listen, for a green card, I'll say Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore, be Baltimore. Daddy, daddy, watch me twirl. Daddy. We are finally at the picture portion of our video where I'm going to be showing pictures and everyone is going to be saying what they're looking at. So this is our first picture. And according to me, I'm looking at chips. I'm looking at chips too. <laughs> Fries. Look, 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 look. Don't make come look at this. I understand that with potato chips like Lay's, like oh, I understand why they chips and why French fries is chips because they come from the same <clears> thing. <throat> Somebody come and look at this. However, comma. Actually, no, all chips come from a damn potato. <laughs> Surprise, mother. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> After the fact that you didn't realize everything came from a potato. For chips? I thought that I'm over here to say well, at least something different at this point. Like, be it. Oh, no way, chips and potato. <laughs> Girl. Are you not embarrassed? It's really so embarrassing. Then so then what? It just keeps getting embarrassed. worse. So, so this next picture, I am looking at a truck. It's a, it's, a, it's like a freaking pickup truck. Yeah, truck. It's a lorry. What? You guys have played the the tongue twister, red lorry, yellow lorry. No. Red, red lorry, yellow lorry. Okay. Must be a bridge. Where red, red lorry yellow. Red lorry yellow lorry yellow. <laughs> red lorry yellow lorry. Red. Whoa. Red That's lorry yellow talks. lorry. Red lorry yellow lorry. Red yellow lorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because the reason why your tongue gets twisted is because it's, it's a truck. Lorry. No, it's because we're looking at a truck. Where did you go from here to? It's a because truck. it's a truck. It's a lorry. What is a lorry? That lorry. That's a name. Hey, lorry. <laughs> What do you call this hairstyle? You mean just that? Yeah, on her a forehead. A fringe. A fringe. <laughs> <laughs> what a bang. bang. <laughs> Not the banging. The banging. The bangs. <laughs> Not the banging. <laughs> the banging. <laughs> You are really dumb, for real. What I think is quite interesting with globalization and us consuming media from all over the world is that... What's this going? <laughs> Why did you both look at me? Because, because, because you, said, you said and globalization. Yeah, like you're using like, like times. I'm like, what are we I'm doing? Like, where, where, I'm like, we got deep, like zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> I was just gonna say, 
that with globalization it's interesting because now I realize that some words that we use in essay are actually American words to the point where sometimes these things get fused so much yeah. you kind of get confused about which word actually belongs to which pronunciation we do pronounce things differently but some words that we use really is just all becoming a with social media and everything yeah i was about to say it's kind of a trend like the whole the bangs um trend yeah and not just that but just the phrase men are trash they use that in london so often but we don't say trash we say rubbish but we will never translate it to oh men are rubbish yeah, yeah. we say men are trash just because that's become like the normal social media that's the phrase we use right but we still don't consider trash like we don't change it in our normal yeah. day to days like you won't use it in general yeah. yeah what are we looking at sweets sweets Candy. <laughs> Why did you sigh like that? She just knows she lost. Cause that was a sigh of defeat, guys. <laughs> Cause y'all all say sweets. Like, okay, like okay, we call like sweets too, but like the primary like word to generalize all of them since they're different kinds is candy. But that's why we call they're it not, sweets. Yeah, because, because they're, they're not all candies. And also, what is a candy bar exactly? Is that chocolate? Yeah, that's another thing actually. Yeah. Um, a candy bar is what they'll say, like, for a chocolate bar. Technically, yeah, because there's not like a freaking bar of like just something sweet unless it's like Laffy Taffy. But you wouldn't even call Laffy Taffy like a freaking bar, it's taffy. So the, it would be just be chocolate, yeah. That makes no sense, the chocolate bar. <laughs> See how you were calling us extra for, what was she calling us extra for again? A lot of things. You, you were calling us extra for the cube, but candy bar? For chocolates? Just call chocolate chocolate just to be the end of the day. Lord. Exactly, that's why we're and saying what's the whole sweets. thing for candy bar. So up next we're looking at this. What are we looking at? I am I looking at a you. swimming costume. Oh. <laughs> that's a baby too. That's one piece. It's a swimming costume. You never use the term swimming costume. <laughs> costume? <laughs> suit? It's a swimsuit. Costume? Yeah, because you dress up to go into the water. I'm not dressing up. You're dressing down with costume? Yeah, it's a swimming costume. Swim no, I'm not gonna lie. It's a costume you wear to go swim. I've always disagreed with how we say swimming costume. Like, why do we call it a costume? That's I why mean, I, I, just, just, I just stick like, to bikini and one piece. Yeah, I, I say like, I stick to one piece and bikini too, or swimwear, but like, you, the general, like how most people say it was like swimsuit. Yo, you got a swimsuit? Yeah. I feel like I get it because like when for instance you dress up for Halloween you get a Halloween costume And technically right? swimsuits it does count because like if you're like a surfer like there's an actual entire yeah, that's true. suit That's another word we should say costume. It's a costume Even then why y'all say costume like that? Costume? <laughs> costume A costume Costume say it. It's costume. costume Costume I'm wearing a costume Costume Co you're a Costume <clears throat> Costume Costume! Oh my gosh! <laughs> costume. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another T word that they. <laughs> Why is she so excited? Why is this <laughs> funny? Tuesday costume. <laughs> what else? I'm sorry. This is coming from the people who don't pronounce their T's and make it D's. No. Who don't say Q. Who call and pram a carriage? Boy. It's upsetting me in my home, girl. This picture. What is this? Oh my god, it's a duvet. Duvet. It's a cover. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's covered in the That's bed. It. That's it. <laughs> Y'all, what's with the duvet? It sounds like something that should be like a, a do rag should be. <laughs> no way. No way. Angie, where did you go from? <laughs> <laughs> because duvet sounds sound so like do rag like <laughs> it might it should, that's actually somebody should endorse that like you know duvet as like a little set, like a really good satin duvet they can't except a, a duvet, duvet is, is already this thing. this is a duvet it already exists those are covers it's a duvet covered but a cover is just so like covered like that's it really if I tell you covering pass, today I'm back if I tell you pass my cover how you know I'm not talking about like the table cover my phone cover my what are we looking at here trainers tackies sneakers why don't you look at me <laughs> Cause what what's a tacky? What? Like, is it tacky like describing it? Yeah, like that's definitely something. No, you like, spell it. Like, are, you, are, you, are you violating her fit? That's right. crazy. She goes, I see tackiness. 
No, it's we don't spell it T A C K Y. K Y. We what spell it T A K K I E S. Tackies. And tackies are different from sneakers. Like, listen, if I'm going running, I wear tackies, but I'm not gonna wear like sneakers. Sneakers are nice. You wear them like you respect them, like you don't want to crease your sneakers, trainers. right? They're all trainers. You I call mean, sneakers I've heard, trainers. Yeah. I've heard trainers, but I call sneakers sneakers. But sneakers are sneakers. Then there's tackies. Tackies is like when you do sports, bro, you can wear them because you don't mind if they get dirty. But like yes. your sneakers, you respect them, isn't it? Like you don't um, like you're not gonna wear your like your Air Jordans to go run, will you? But they're all still trainers. They're all, they're all sneakers. Even the sneakers that you get from like freaking Walmart Payless that yeah, aren't they're still brand. Those are sneakers. Mm-hmm. Aren't tackies those sweets that you guys eat? They're the chips. <laughs> The, the ones in the purple bag, the spicy ones, they're good. <laughs> you mean Takis? Oh lord. <laughs> takis. Oh. So this is our last picture. What are we oh, looking at? fizzy drinks. Cold drink. So What? Cold drink? Cold drink? Yeah, cold, cold drink. drink. What if it's not cold? Uh oh. Uh, down. Hell oh. Uh, it's still a cold drink. It's just a warm I mean, cold drink. We call it we call them fizzy drinks. Soda. So you call it like yours like that's it? I mean we all know it's a fizzy drink. But we call it like that's it. Like someone asks you what you want to drink, they're like, oh you got any fizzy drinks? So like you know the restaurant you'll you'll be like, oh do you have any juice or sodas? You'll say do you have juice or, or fizzy, fizzy drinks? drinks? Yeah. No one yeah. says sodas, like we say cold drinks, like do you have any cold drinks? Do you use fizzy drink here? No. Exactly. <laughs> Soda. <laughs> that's, 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 not, that's not the point of the what? video. That is such an unfair statement to me. Yeah, like, <laughs> of course. If I say I want a cold drink, like, even you use soda here. Soda. Well, yeah, we have to speak like the. We are in America. <laughs> when in Rome, you do as the Romans and do. And when I want a drink, I don't have time to be looked at funny. <laughs> so I'm gonna just say soda. Because you just want to have a cold drink. So those are all the words that we have for you today. And that being said, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. If you learned anything in this video, comment down below about any words you were surprised about. And also, are there any words that we forgot about and actually didn't mention? Comment down below. And if you guys would actually like an actual part three of this video, I don't know if you would. This is part two. Comment down below. And let us know. Peace and love, guys.